that metal brings to your life? Um, pleasure and passion. Yeah. You know, I, as a kid, I was a metal fan and I admired all the bands that I watched. And so as a boy, it's, it's like a kind of a dream, you know, like you want to be on that stage yourself. And then in the end, you are on that stage and you are entertaining people and you're having a good time. And it's a privilege, I think. And it's, you know, if I, if I go on stage and I'm with the boys. Tormento! Here's Husky. He can, he can join Tormento. You can join us. Yeah, exactly. Join us. Yes. So, 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 you know, when I'm on stage with these animals, you know, I'm just having a good time. And like I said, it's a privilege. And that's what I, yeah, that's why I enjoy metal. There's one thing about today what I really don't like. It's uh, when you see young guys and they grow their beards and they have a shitload of tattoos, but their hair is short. Yeah? Okay. And if I want to see, <laughs> I'm sorry, yeah? But if I would, like me, I grew up and I, I've, I had to fight for my long hair at school. Uh, at work, everywhere, you know, it, really, it was like a revolution, like fucking hell. I want to have my hair long, I'm metal, and no one was accepting it. And now they go, oh, yeah, we look tough, we have tattoos, we play loud music, and what they do, Monday morning, they take their, uh, you know, their tie and their uh, blazer and they go to work. The fuck? <laughs> I think music is all about passion, and it doesn't really matter what kind of music it is, but everybody who does it, if they dance, to make the music is all about passion, but I think with metal it's the same. And I think when when Asterix goes on stage, you just see that we love what we do. We want to have a good time with the friends in front yeah, of the stage. Nothing more exactly. We are not we are not something special or something better than no. the guys in front of stage. We just, no. just want to have a good time. We are all metal fans, and we don't care if, if you know if it's an 18 year old or 50 year old. You know, if you're into metal, then like you. I was in Africa and there is a lot of death metal bands there. In Africa? Yes. Really? really? My research is in Angola and has uh, 10 or 50 death metal bands wow. there. I've never heard I've seen one a single death metal band. No, no, I've, se I've, seen, I've seen one fantastic documentary, it was called Death Metal Angola. Yes, it's about it. Yeah, it was, be it was beautiful. It was uh, about, a, about an orphanage and, you know, the kids, they lost all their parents. In the, in, the, in the Angola war or, or in the minefields and so there was this couple that um, took care of the kids but they learned them to, to get over their traumas like music is making, rock music is maybe the best thing and to deal with the memory of the civil war and so they, they, and they were listening like death metal and metal in general and then the, the two people okay let's organize a festival just for the, for the boys you know and in the end of course it was really chaotic you can't compare it to anything in the world it was just fantastic to see how they were on stage like with the Slayer shirts and <laughs> you know, it was beautiful documentaries. One of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. So of course, you, you don't understand. want to play Angola? <laughs> uh, yeah, let's hope so. Huh? <laughs> That's why not? <laughs> let's hope so. And then we just invite everybody who's in that house, like, okay, come over and have a good time. You have a beautiful experience. Because we have I'm a lot sure, of I'm Brazil sure. and Angola together <laughs> because the, the history and everything. Yeah, else. you have the same language, yeah? Yes. Okay, language. what is it? Angola, Guinea-Bissau? Guinea-Bissau and Mozambique. Yeah, it's Portuguese in Africa. Yes. So, how is the process to deal with brutal songs and this thematic about that and everything else? In death metal, it's all blown up. You know, I mean, uh, when we started with death metal, and, and in the beginning, it was all about, you know, we watched a lot of zombie movies and gore, and but for us it was fun. It was humor, you know, so we went to the cinema and if a shitload of zombies eat people, everybody was laughing, like, yeah, you know, kill, eat, work. Because we were death metal, so the lyrics you should not take seriously. Um, I like death metal lyrics when they are funny, gory, and you can make a kind of a horror story out of it. Uh, I think if a death metal band becomes political, then it's not a death metal band anymore for me, it's a punk band, you know? It's Napalm Death. Yeah, like Napalm or something, <laughs> you know? I mean, I love Napalm, they're a fucking too. great band, point. But um, with Asterix, the, yeah, some lyrics are serious, some are not. It's a kind of a finding a balance, you know? With, with, it depends also on, 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 on what the music is, what the riffs are. And then afterwards, you know, I write, of course, the lyrics to it. I think, I think a little bit nowadays, I think death metal is a, is a kind of a replacement for the kind of rock and roll that Motorhead was playing, because there's no, well, apart from a Lincoln Tumor, there's no band playing that kind of style. And I, yeah, it's, 
there's a lot of bands I see on stage and I take everything so serious. Yeah, too serious. And I'm like, let's just have a fucking good time and have a party. You know, life is life is too serious as it is already. Life is too if you want, short to be so serious. If you, yes. if you want to go out and it's just, you worked hard all week and you don't, and if you go out on a Saturday night or Friday night or whatever. You don't want to think about the trouble that's going on in the world or uh, at work or something. Yeah, you just have a, meet your friends, see a good, nice band, have a drink, go to home, you know? What's the future of us, The future? Uh, rock and Rio. <laughs> Head, headlining Rock and Rio. Yeah. No, no seriously, we, no, write, no. we are writing new songs. We yeah. are. How many, how many have finished? Seven? Six, seven, seven new seven. songs. Yeah, we're working on a new album, which is really? about time. Yeah. And then, yeah, uh, more shows, or touring, or whatever. Come back, come back to, to South America soon? Uh, not yet. It's a secret. <laughs> I have a title, but I won't say. Okay, that's a secret. Amazing. So, hope to see you again in South America again. If you, if you want us again, of course. Of course. <laughs> I thought I'd never see you we never since knew. my 15 years. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.